today on I Quit Sugar, we're going to broach the subject of social situations. Now this can be really tricky for people, Sarah. It's all very well being sugar free in the safety of your own kitchen. Yeah. But what happens when you go out into the real world? Yeah, I guess I've got three points for that because I know that it is a really big thing and I've been asked about it for years. Yeah. Um, the first thing is to not turn it into a palaver. Um, you know, your friends don't want to know about, you know, how you're on this great new diet and, um, you know, they don't want to have their faces rubbed in it. So yeah. that's one thing I would say. The other thing is to remain really positive. So instead of being in a situation where you sort of complain, oh, I can't eat this, I can't eat that, actually be on the front foot and, um, you know, I choose this, you know, so if you're at a restaurant, instead of saying, oh, I can't eat dessert, you get excited about the cheese plate, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Um, and I guess the other thing is to take charge of the situation. So that is, if you're going to a friend's place um, for dinner, offer to bring the dessert and, and then you can own the situation and hopefully influence people to change their eating habits. So they're the three things that I tend to do. It's mostly about not being negative and seeing what you're doing as an issue. Yeah. And what about what about alcohol? Like that's a big thing for people. <laughs> yeah. And I know that it's not completely off the menu on the program. Yeah. But what are what are the better options? Oh look, there's lots of options. Um, first and foremost white spirits. Um, so your vodkas, your gins and so on. Um, good news. mixed yeah exactly it's very very good news for yeah. most people. Um, mixed with soda water. The other thing of course is red wine. Red wine um, people think well isn't that all fruit and isn't yeah, it all great. sugar? Yeah. Um, it's actually the, the fructose, the, the sugar in the grapes that ferments and becomes mm. alcohol. Yeah. Um, now it's the same with white wine and champagne but to a lesser extent. So okay. a lot more of the sugar remains in white wine and then um, sparkling and champagne. Don't touch dessert wines, a lot of the sugar is kept in there as you can taste. So there are still lots of things you can do in social situations. We've got some more great hints and tips on the blog, uh, iquitsugar.com. <laughs>